Welcome back all you awesome and beautiful people. I'm gonna show you an awesome little hack here today that you're just gonna love on how to take any oil paint that you purchase and make it firmer so that way you can achieve easier paint breaks when doing snow or anytime you have to lay down a firmer foundation for like trees and bushes and when you have to apply softer paint on top of it for things like highlights. You're gonna love it and I'm bringing it to you right now. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you, super strong and super clutch. Now, a lot of us sometimes accidentally or on purpose buy too soft of paint for what we're trying to do for wet on wet or any oil technique. Now, there are some really strong and firm paints out there like this Windsor Newton white titanium paint, but a lot of times if you wanna use like Bob Ross paints or some more open paints, there will be a lot of oil in there. And that's so you can get more flow within them and they spread out. However, when you're trying to use it for Bob Ross paint, sometimes these can be a huge detriment, which is why I'm gonna show you an awesome hack that you're just gonna be praising me right after. But then again, every video I do is awesome and you praise me after, am I right? Okay, enough of inflating my ego, let me show you the hack. On our left-hand side is a dollop of paint from the Bob Ross Titanium White Tube. And as you can see, when we pull it out flat, it actually is a little mushy. And that is because there's so much extra residual oil in it, which is great if you wanna do things like snow banks or put on highlights. But when it comes to paint breaks, this can be one of the major reasons why you struggle because your paint isn't firm, thus it doesn't get the chance to break off of your knife. You can have firmer paints like this Windsor Newton over here on the right hand side, which you can see when we pull flat is a lot more firm and breaks a lot more easy. And this is what I wanna transform your paints into. Our hack comes from an everyday Amazon household item, and that is cardboard, my friends. Cut yourself off a nice sleeve and clean it thoroughly. I use a feather duster. That's right, ladies. I own a feather duster. I am a catch. But make sure to clean it off with your hand or rag or whatever you have to get all the extra dust and paper particles off of that cardboard. If you don't have any cardboard in your house, you can use brown paper lunch bags. Likewise, you can also use grocery bags that are made out of paper. Put your paint in the center of the cardboard paper. To show you how well this technique works, I'm actually going to introduce extra oil on top of my paint. This way you can see how well the cardboard will absorb the extra oil because it is porous. All you need to do is just pull out your paint and mix it so that way it exposes more surface area to the cardboard. That way it allows it to soak up all that extra oil. Just to let you know, doing this technique, you will lose a little bit of your paint because since the cardboard is porous, it will hold on to a little bit of that pigment. So make sure you put down a little bit more, that way you can compensate for what you will lose. But as you can see on the cardboard, it starts soaking up all that excess oil like a sponge right away, making our paint much more firm because it doesn't have all that extra oil in it. Now with our brand new, much more firmer paint, we can take it directly to our canvas and start paint breaking with it right away with ease. Like seriously, how do I keep coming up with such awesome information and videos for you? You're all so lucky you found this channel. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to go down below and leave me a comment, like, and subscribe to this video because it really helps me out. And if you're returning, hey, using the links down below really helps support my channel. So thank you for all the love from all you people out there. Well, that does it for me on this awesome video, but of course, I'm not done. I'll be here next week with another awesome video to help make you bigger and better with all of your creative adventures. And until next time, I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that's gonna show you all the tips you need to know about gesso that's gonna make all of your paintings so much more better. Check that video out right after this one, and until next time, peace.